I am the silent wind of doom. Let's play a game. Today we're looking at Shadow Strike Melee, a fast-paced bluffing game for you and your sneaky friends. Will you outsmart your ninja rivals and see through their trickery? There's the box from Pure Fun Games. You are a ninja student starting his final trial, an all-out ninja brawl. The problem is you're a bit too overconfident, as you can only see the flaws and strengths of your opponents. You will succeed with wit and items alone, despite being hilariously blind to your own abilities? Or will you triumph only after your opponents teach you a hard and painful lesson? I like it. it the story and everything, description, fits the game perfectly. It's a fun little game. Greninja. You separate the purple cards from the blue cards. These are used for the teams. Team play. Yes, right? Yes. We play just the regular. Shuffle and create face-down drop house for each. Each player receives three fight cards. Thing there, there's all the numbers, highs and lows, the zeros. A zero. Well, you know those are the big ones. Those are the those are the high ones there. Yeah. And they hold these face out towards other players, so you don't look at the numbers. Everyone else knows your numbers. You know everyone else's numbers, but you do not know your own until it gets flipped over later on. So, again, this, you have it facing, N you know, no, yes. And three item cards, those are the blue ones, and uh, they are faced towards you. So you get three fighters and three items to play. Reaction, join someone else's fight, or start of turn, refresh any number of fight cards. Start of turn. Pick opponent's fight card. So this person's like, haha, and then they're like, this player's like, haha, and they're like, thinking they got it. But then this player's like, I do this, and then throw in that. Boo! Energy bar. Ooh, replace your played fight card from draw pile. Candy bar. And they're like, oh well. <laughs> so then they play another candy bar. Oh well. And this one still wins. On your turn, you play one before choosing your fight card. So you can, you know, play the shuriken, or you could play the smoke bomb. So the shuriken, you pick the opponent's fight card instead of them blindly picking a card themselves to fight against your selected card. You know, if you know your opponent has a one, you'll be like, well, I'm going to have them play your one. And they're like, ah, oh, well, I'm screwed. And then you can don't have to worry about playing if you worry about what you draw, hopefully. So you can play your, like, hey, cool. I had a, I don't care. Well, I should be able to beat a one, you would think, right? But your player, the other player can react with an energy bar. Like, you can react to an energy bar. So if you have something, they play down a nine, and then you play down a seven. Well, you're like, well, candy bar. Pick from the top of the deck, the draw deck, and play out someone, and hopefully it's someone higher. If not, you can keep going for every energy bar that you have. And it can get pretty cutthroat here. It's a very good bluffing game. I'm sure the folks down in Bluffington play this game all the time. Shadow Strike Melee. And then the smoke bomb, again, like, if it's two people fighting against each other, you can be like, I'm going to join in on this fight. And then you play a card, like, if you know you had, like, a 9 or a 10, and then you can knock out both of them if it's higher. So that's kind of fun. Or you can be like, I'm going to take that chance. Ah, oh, well, well, then I got knocked out. <laughs> Which, I don't know why you would do that. Or at the start of a turn, you can refresh any number of fight cards. You can get rid of all of them or just one or two and be like, bam, I'm getting a new thing of fight cards. Hopefully it's something better. But they must still stay in position if whatever's facing towards you or the opponents. And the object is to, you know, KO all the other players. And you're the last one standing with at least one card that's facing out. Because once they're all faced in, you lose. 
Every time you turn him over, that means you got KO'd and flips over to your side. That's the game. Players just go around and uh, I choose you to fight against. And then they're like, all right, well, I'll play this. And then you play this. And hopefully whoever's highest does it. Except for the Shuriken, which is a great one to have that where you can purposely have. Or if you know when one's flipping face towards you, if that was a 10. Or if you discard and then you get there, like, oh, no, I know I have a 10 facing me or a 9. And I know for sure I can play this one because I can play that one. But most of the time, the cards will be facing away from everyone. And if the draw pile, you know, either of them runs out, you reshuffle and make a new face down draw pile. And that's basically the game in a nutshell. It's fast, it's crazy, and it's pretty fun. And uh, uh, you can play a lot of these pretty quickly in a, in a lot of time. It, it does get people ticked off. You play games where people get very frustrated. <laughs> Because of the, you know, sucks when you play like something you think you had something, but, oh uh, well, that sucks. But it's all in the fun. No hint giving either. And also, it helps to try to remember what your cards are, if, if possible. If anyone forgets to draw cards at the end of a turn, they immediately replace any missing cards. So if you run out of your item cards, you can replenish back up to three. So again, each player chooses a card to fight with. Whatever happens, if a tie, no one takes a hit. And then each player then replaces the card he played from the draw pile. If you played a face-out card, replace it facing towards your opponent. If you played a face-in card, replace it facing toward yourself. Discard used fight cards. When all of your turn face in, your KO, discard all of your cards face up next to the respective draw piles. A team game, I guess, if you want to know, may be played with four, six, or eight, or nine players. It is strongly recommended to use teams when playing with more than seven players. Team card diagrams are displayed below, sitting accordingly with teammates and opponents based on how many people playing. All game rules are the same except when you join fights involving your teammates, they do not take hits when you win. You may now discard discuss the use of item cards with your team you may still not discuss fight cards when a player gets killed his team plays on without him the last team with at least one player wins so there you go we never like do that kind of stuff because it's all just a fun melee on your own thing one of the very first times we ever played is the most memorable and then it lives with us forever so everyone has their cans out like this you know because you can't see what the others are playing and then you yourself can't see but this is what my buddy's hand was, something simple, at least it had this zero in there. And zeros, yeah, look at that face. So, you know, remember, you just pick whatever you do to when it's your turn to fight. You don't know, unless you have the cards help. But if you don't have them, you can only do what you can do. So, you know, my, my buddy came time, it was something like, I don't remember, but we'll just go like this. Like, someone played this, and like, haha. Oh yeah, well I'll get you with, or they had, let's say it was this. It was a pretty low number. And they're like, haha, I got you. But it's like, ha, take this. A zero. A zero. And that becomes, that, that's like a meme in our gaming stuff there. Because it's just, what are the odds? And it just sucked. And then even a good example. So then, you know, obviously that goes there. You had to flip one over and take a new card. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, those zeros... Especially when you see, like, a low number like that, and he had none of the other stuff, even if it's like, yeah, well, I'm going to do this, and then they draw from the top of the deck, and it's like, okay, I can beat that too, I can beat that too, and then they draw from the top, and that can happen. You're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's a pretty crazy game, and a lot of people can get upset. They, they'll melee in anger with this game at times. I like the little designs. I like the cutesy, they're kind of kind of anime-ish, kind of cartoon, kind of like old school Nintendo-ish too. So I like it. I like the little different things they all do. Poor guy got kicked in the nuts and they're just laughing. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Trying to whack that and ends up kind of a tree. Foosh. Again, the poor Zero guy right in the butt. So a lot of good artwork on these. This one here is going to like toot on this other one there. Uh, if you're into, if you're into that, <laughs> so a very fun little game, cheap that we picked up on a whim at a place I think for like five bucks, and it's just a fun game to get out quick. But again, quick, fast, clean, and pure. It could change your life, rest assured. It's the Shadow Strike melee game. <laughs> and I just helped you uh, kind of learn how to play it because it's my job to teach and play through
games. 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 Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, we appreciate it. We love you all, and we'll see you next time. Waka waka. What? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't see! Oh, <laughs>